Hello and welcome back to Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition and the William Wallace campaign. We'll go into the um, fifth mission here called the Battle of Stirling. The time for minor skirmishes is over. We now prepare for war. The villain Longshanks is poised to cross the River Forth and threaten the town of Stirling with a force of men at arms, heavy cavalry, and a multitude of archers. Our newly forged army marches southward to establish our own base and attack the English before they can ready their troops. Defeat the English army and destroy their watchtower. This scenario begins in a similar way to a random map game, so after you play this scenario you should know all that you need in order to play a random map game. Keep exploring. Our scouts report that the Scots Blue have come to the village of Stirling to face the English in battle. Across the stone bridge to the west lies the English English fort uh, in, with the red player. The time has come to take the offensive. The English have a fort near the town of Stirling. If we can defeat the English here, they may think twice about their invasion of Scotland. To win, destroy the English tower to the west. Maybe. Before we attack the English to the west, we need to build up our forces. Have your villagers start gathering food and wood. You have found some sheep. Sheep are a good source of food. So send them back to your town center and assign a villager to gather food from them. Keep making villagers at your town center until you have ten. The more villagers you have, the faster your resources will come in. Scout cavalry are poor fighters, but they can see a great distance. You can I don't know if a great distance is true, but... Find the English. You can specify a location for new units to gather by setting a gather point. For villagers, they have some vision. And click the set gather point button. Use your villagers to build a mill near your forage bushes. I can do that. We have some gold as well. You can gain more food by building fishing ships. To create fishing ships, let's build the barracks. In the water to the south. I did not do any of that actually, but we can do that. So a dock would be this one. Yeah, there we go. I think we're uh, about ready here to um, advance to the feudal age. Now click the dock and build a fishing ship. Can do that. Oh, okay, so we can increase the line of sight by four. That's pretty huge. I think that's feudal age. To fish, click a fishing ship and right click on a leaping fish. The fishing ship will collect fish and automatically return them to the dock. Fishing ships are also useful for exploring. They are. We are very close to the feudal age now. Build a barracks and five militia to defend your villagers and explore the map. Already. Already got a barracks, but I don't have any militia. The English are coming to attack. To protect your villagers, you can use the town bell to garrison them in your town center. Click your town center, then click town bell. Villagers can also build farms. 
Build four farms near your mill when your forage bushes are depleted. Each farm needs only one villager working on it. Good. You defeated the English assault. If you have villagers in your town centre, ring the town bell again to send them back to work. That's kind of what we did, right? We do not have uh, much militia. Can probably do a few more, I guess. We don't have a lot of wood. It's a hundred wood. Now that you have reached the feudal age, concentrate on making some soldiers to fight the enemy. You will need at least twelve. At least twelve. Remember, you can upgrade your militia to men at arms at the barracks. You should always upgrade soldiers when you can afford them. We're gonna um, gonna go hard economy here. I think the horse gets a bit longer distance, like view distance from the tech, I guess. It looks like it at least. I didn't pay enough attention, I think. Okay. I'm not exactly a back door, but... The hill with the dead tree protects the only access to your town. It would be a good idea to build a watchtower on this hill once you advance to the feudal age. Let's build that. I mean, I'm already... Already in the feudal age. Right. Let's see if there's anything over here, but I... I kind of doubt it, yeah. Let's do men at arms here. Right, we can actually send this guy over here. So watchtower, eh? Sounds like a plan. Okay, let's uh, keep making some soldiers here. Forty five. Dude, that's that's a lot. And they also cost gold, so we're gonna need to mine this gold soon. said 12 soldiers were uh, Good. Your watch will fire on enemy units white far from that. White far. Yeah. Now we're gonna need um, 
bunch more farms here. Let's get the wood chopping upgrade. And probably keep exploring a bit. sheep here absolutely not why why would you do that okay i think they come from that place probably oh no here's the bridge here's also a uh you know what to do i do i will Let's uh, explore a bit with the fishing, fishing guy and keep training some militia here. Yep, that's what I'm doing with the fishing ship. I think we've explored as much as we can on this side. I think we're a bit too many on wood here, probably. Let's get a bunch more farms here and houses, I guess. Okay, that's a good upgrade for farming. Let's get these sheep out of the way as well. Keep building men at arms. Let's get some sheep. have eight men at arms that's uh, that's pretty good that is I'm gonna wait for the uh, wheelbarrow uh, upgrade I think there we go So nine soldiers, we're getting kind of close. It's a lot of fish to be had here. Remember to upgrade weapons and armor at the blacksmith. You do have a blacksmith, don't you? No, I do not have a blacksmith, my guy. I'm gonna build two so I can do simultaneous upgrades. Because why not? So... Infantry... Thing? And then you have a large enough force to attack the English base. Charge. Keep your villagers working just in case you suffer casualties and need to make more troops. Well yeah. Interesting. 
I really just would like to have a hundred so we can get the scale mail. It's a lot of water on this map, to be honest. I feel like this map is bigger than most maps in Age of Empires 1, but I might be incorrect about that. The English base. Better not knock down this wall until you have an army of about 12 soldiers. Okay. Well, I have an army of about 12 soldiers, actually. Okay, we do have all the um, the upgrades and stuff that we can get, so... Don't think you can go across these bridges. No, you you get kind of stuck there. Then we go back to fishing, I think. Okay. You can do uh, ranged... Oh, great as well. Can do that. We have so many of this. We can also get an archery range and the stables. Because why not? Now we've just trained men at arms, but they have upgrades, so. I wanted you to explore this as well. I don't know why you didn't do that. Maybe more farming? They have no upgrades. Poor guys. I don't actually want to fight you in the opening. Oh, those upgrades really help. We lost one, maybe? Oh, there we have some archers here. Good job. You have eliminated the English soldiers. Now, destroy that tower and our victory will be complete. Yeah. Don't think they can attack soldiers that are melee range. Oh, we can actually get archers and scouts here in this scenario as well. Great job. You have destroyed the English camp. The Battle of Stirling is sure to end in victory for the Scots. Yeah. We destroyed a tower and a handful of soldiers. Advance through the ages and find and fight your enemies. You have all the basic skills you need to play a random map game. The most common type of game in Age of Empires 2. Nice. Stirling was our first great victory. Even as we held the coastline, word arrived that Stirling Bridge had been held by a force of Scots led by the mythical knight of whom so many have spoken. Now we know his name. Sir William Wallace, the bane of the English. Edward Longshanks names Wallace a traitor and a criminal. Sir William replies he cannot be a traitor, for he never swore fealty to an English king. With Wallace leading our armies, the men fight with renewed vigor. Perhaps the tide of our misfortunes is about to turn. 
cool. First mission where something something actually happened, we can do some economy upgrades and uh, train some soldiers and stuff. That's uh, that that was fun. That's gonna be it for this episode. Thanks for watching and uh, have a nice day.